Welcome to an example of indirect measurement using similar triangles. An application of similar triangles is to be able to determine lengths indirectly. For example, let's say on a sunny day, you're trying to determine the height of this tree. One of the reasons it need to be a sunny day is that on a sunny day, this tree would project a shadow on the ground. So instead of trying to determine the height of this tree by climbing to the top and, and then somehow trying to drop a tape measure from the top to the bottom, we could use the height and the shadow of a much smaller object to determine the height of the tree. This is what I mean by that. Let's say this is a yardstick and a yardstick is three feet long. This three foot long yardstick will project a shadow on the ground as well. And let's say we measured the length of the shadow of the yardstick to be five feet long. So what we have here is actually a right triangle that would look something like this. And there's actually a much larger triangle formed using the tree and the shadow of the tree in the same way we formed this small red triangle. There's a triangle formed by the tree and the shadow of the tree. And this large blue triangle would be similar to the small red triangle by angle, angle, angle similarity. They share this angle here and they also both contain a 90 degree angle which would also be congruent. Which means in order to determine the height of this tree, we would just need to measure the shadow of the tree along the earth, which is obviously a lot easier to do than climbing the tree. So if we measure the length of the shadow to be, let's say, 25 feet, this is enough information to allow us to determine the height of the tree without ever leaving the ground. Let's go and take a look at a cleaner diagram of this information. Again, x would be the height of the tree. This longer side here is 25 feet, the length of the shadow of the tree. And here we have the yardstick, and here we have the shadow of the yardstick. And again, we know we have two similar triangles by angle-angle similarity. So let's go ahead and set up our proportion. x to three must equal 25 to five. So to solve for x, we'll cross multiply. Five times x, or five x, must equal three times 25, which is 75. Divide both sides by five. And 75 divided by five is equal to 15. So x equals 15, which gives us the height of this tree without ever having to leave the ground. So that is pretty amazing that we can use the properties of similar triangles to determine lengths indirectly. And one thing I should mention is that when measuring the shadows of these two objects, it's important that we do it pretty quickly because as you know, as time passes, the sun moves across the sky, which will affect the length of these shadows, which will affect our air when trying to determine the height of this tree. I hope you found this example helpful.